Welcome into our CBS 17 Digital Desk. I'm here with our Russ Bowen. So Russ, your your story today is on the poll that was taken by Elon University right. on Confederate monuments, and you got to talk to the director. Tell me what he told you. What was the result? Right. So first, let's talk a little bit of, to put this into context. Right. So this poll is being taken right in the heels of the big controversy in Pittsburgh, where right. that Confederate monument has been removed by order of the county commission. They voted for that to be removed right. after months and months of debate. Right. And before that, we had a forced removal by protesters. We had the forced removal of Silent Sam at UNC Chapel Hill. That's sitting in some basement somewhere. We have no idea what's going to happen to Silent Sam. And then before that, we had the forced removal by protesters as well, and that was in Durham. So this is coming at the heels of three major events, two uh, where two Confederate monuments were toppled basically mm -hmm. by, by people, uh, the will of the people, I guess we could say, of right. some people. And then we have uh, that by uh, mandate by the county commission. So this is very pre a very prevalent problem or conversation it's that a big conversation. people are having. And that's one thing that they found is that there were very few who said this was not a priority in their thought process moving forward. And we've actually got a graph if we can take a look. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is what the big takeaway was. 65% of North Carolinians think they should stay up, right? Right. 35% say they shouldn't stay up. Now, part of that that's interesting is that most of those polled said they're very aware of what we just talked about, mm -hmm. of those statues coming down and, and in their own communities if there's a statue, if there's been any debate whether they should stay up or not. So these are people who are very, very engaged. They talk to more than 1,500 people, which is a nice grouping of folks. It's a, it's a cross-section of the demographic in North Carolina from age to race to socioeconomic background to, um, to sex. So they were very aware of this poll gathering. They really yeah. wanted to make sure the right amount of people and right. from, from different you know demographics were considered. Represented, yes. absolutely. So then if we move beyond that to the next poll, this is also interesting. So 91% of Republicans support them staying in place. Right. 36% of Democrats, which is maybe not a little bit, it, it maybe not that surprising. Sure, right? sure. Um, but here's what is another big takeaway from the 91% of Republicans are those who did say that they should stay. And that's that 73% of those who said they wanted those statues to stay believe there needs to be context. Right. There needs to be a placard or something there that explains who this person is or what this scene is and what it meant uh, during the Civil War and what it's meant since then. Right. Something to put it just into context. And a majority of North Car Carolinians also believe that it's okay to move them to hmm. say a history museum. Oh, interesting, and maybe not have them be so... Be in a public place right. like state-owned property. Right, interesting. Yeah. And you'll. You, this is your story for today, so yeah, you will have more Yeah, this is my story this. for today. Um, I think it's just a really interesting take on this. And the one other thing that we learned uh, that they found out, and I'll get into more of this on, on television tonight, is that there were some that argued, hey, you know what, we'll just flip the story. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, hey, this is glorifying the Confederate you know, cause to some degree, um, we're going to tell the negative part of the story, you know. And then there's so many other, of course, we can't overlook all the different reasonings that people have as right, to what to they, what they, why they stay and why they believe they should remain in place. Right. Lots of different opinions about that, right? But the other thing that I also got from folks is if they are going to stay, then it wouldn't hurt us ever had the placards, it wouldn't hurt to also have other monuments that tell the story of the Civil Rights Movement or, right. you know, Jim Crow Law, you know, all of those sorts of things that tell the complete story during the Civil War, maybe before the Civil War and since then. 